I like this space. This one has been fighting me coming through here lately. She has been resistant. This I understand because she has been expending a lot of energy. Spiritual energy. Emotional energy. And physical energy. Everybody would do well to take a clue from her and change things around a bit. This is the time. Shift, shift your space. Make something where something was not before. It is a good idea to keep your space in such a way that you want to create there. It draws you there. It makes you feel good when you look at that space. You have made it your own. You have put your own thumbprint there. You know, they, I want to talk about something that struck me here not too long ago. About a footprint. There is talk of footprints, carbon footprints. What is your carbon footprint? I would like to say, what is your spiritual footprint? This space that you live in, right here, right now, is not just your space. Everything is temporary. Temporary. If you looked at your belongings and you said that if you had six hours to pack up everything you wanted to take and no more, and at the end of that six hours, the clock stopped. Anything that was left behind at that point would just disappear. Then when you look around you, you say to yourself, what is really important then? What is it that I think I own? <laughs> because that is what it is. You just think you own something. You don't own anything. Every thought you think goes into the quantum soup. You have heard this one called the Anya speak of this. It is a real place. They call it the matrix, the zone. They call it many things. But the one thing that it is called that is the, the true thing is Oneness. Oneness. People bandy it about, but when when you really know what it means, you will never, ever be the same. Pardon my manners for that. But her body was reacting to the energy. When that happens, the best thing to do is release. Just release. One must have respect for the body of someone who is being your scribe, is allowing you to use their vocal cords and their body to communicate their heart. <sighs> so
So. The sense of urgency that everybody is feeling is only going to become more pronounced. It has come to pass many of those things that I have talked to you about. time for compassion for each other and caring is at its height. The people one finds oneself with right now are the ones that will carry them through all the changes that are going on. There will be more people dropping out of your lives and more people dropping into your life. The elevator will keep going up and down. Stopping at this floor, or that floor. There will be no such thing as a normal anything. Normal anything. What is normal to me may be outlandish to someone else. <laughs> More than likely. Outlandish, crazy, wild. There are some that would envy anyone who's alive and experiencing 2012. And there are others who are, are well happy that they won't be a part of it. Indeed, many will start leaving and are leaving by the droves. There were those who saw the rising water and the tsunami that recently hit foreign shores. There were those who watched the water rising and did nothing. They allowed the water to take them away. They allowed themselves to drown so they could leave. No harm in that. Oh, one can choose to leave when any any time one chooses to leave. It just takes you away from this experience and takes you into another one. No biggie. Just really way different. <laughs> really different. This coming year, there will be many breakthroughs in the paranormal investigative research field. <laughs> it will be magnificent. More and more evidence of disembodied spirits will be made public. What you have experienced so far with this is just the tip of the iceberg, as they say. 